I am Pola Summers, and I am going to work this final exam review out for MAT 1033, the Intermediate Algebra course that we have at State College of Florida. The first problem is a solve, and the problem just has x's to the first power, so we'll just first simplify the left side by distributing the minus sign to both terms in the parentheses, and we'll continue to simplify by putting the like terms together, and then we will isolate the x term by getting rid of the plus 1 by subtracting 1. And whatever we do on the left, we must compensate and do on the right as well. And then the last step here is to solve for x, to make the x stand alone. There's a 6 multiplied on, and so we do the opposite. We divide by 6 in order to cancel the 6 out. And now the x stands alone and is 1 sixth. If you have extra time, you could actually check your answer. Whenever you solve, you can always check. And the way you check is by putting parentheses around each and every x in the original equation, and then erasing the x's and replacing the x's with the claimed answer. So the original problem was 9x minus, left parentheses, 3x minus 1, and we claim that that equals 2. And if you're tight on time, you can just use your calculator to do the calculation to see if it works. And so I would just go to my calculation screen, and I can, on the TI-84, you can just literally type in what you see. You can do 9, left parentheses, 1, use the division for 6, 1, 6, subtract, and then left parentheses, 3, left parentheses again, and then 1, fraction 6, or 1 divided by 6, and then subtract 1. Close the parentheses, and you'll just put the left side in, see what that equals, and that's 2 and it's supposed to equal 2, so, we're no, so we know we're good. Okay, the next question is another solve, and it is one-third x plus 2 equals one-sixth x plus four-thirds. And when we're solving and we have an equation with fractions, then we should just go for clearing the fractions. So this only works when we have an equation with fractions. We get this luxury to clear the fractions. And the way we clear the fractions is we look at the denominators we have and say, okay, the common denominator would be a 6, but we just use 6 as a multiplier and times the left side, so that means we're going to have to distribute 6 times every term on the left and then 6 times every term on the right. And what this allows us to do, the whole purpose of multiplying this 6, is so that we can cancel the denominator into that 6 and um, make it so that all the denominators get wiped out. So 3 goes into 6 twice, which, in essence, it's just a shortcut for saying 6 divided by 3 is 2. And it's just 2 over 1, or plain 2. So all of these denominators become 1, and so you don't have to write the denominator when it's just a 1. And so what we're left with is this 2 times x, 2x, plus 6 times 2, 12, and the this is just 1 times 1x, 1x, plus 2 times 4, 8. So we're left with an equation with just one variable to the first power, an x. So we want to move the x terms so that they're just on one side of the equation. And then we're going to want to move the constant term so it's on the, the right side. So we have 1 times x, or x. 
and this is going to be gone, and 8 minus 12 is negative 4. And again, if we had extra time, on, or it's probably best just to work through the test, and then if you have some extra time, go back and try plugging negative 4 back in to double check the answer. Is it really true that 1 third times negative 4 plus 2 is equal to 1 6 times negative 4 plus 4 thirds? So only if you had time would we check to make sure that those values come out the same. Okay. On this third problem, it's another solve, and it's just a straight linear equation. And you, we can do this a couple of different ways. We can treat this like this is a fraction, like 7 hundredths and 12 hundredths times 6,000 minus y equals 0 0.06y. But my preference is just leave the decimal. You get to use a calculator on this test and just go ahead and do it as if this number um, were something e easier to work with. So we just leave the negative 0.07y plus positive times positive is going to be positive and you can just use your calculator to do 0 0.12 times 6,000 and that is 720 and positive times negative here is negative 0.12y and still we have simplifying we can do on the left side so just combine point negative 0.07 and negative 0.12 feel free to use your calculators if you want negative 0.19y and I'm going to go ahead and subtract 720 from both sides. Didn't notice that was a y term. Um, let's see. So we have negative 0.19y equals 0.06y. I'll move that over. Minus 720. So subtract 0.06y. So we already have negative, more minus, so total minus, minus 0.25y equals negative 720. And so dividing by, if we just divide by um, negative 0.25, we'll be able to cancel out that coefficient on the y term. And two negatives divide positive. And this is actually dividing by one fourth, which is the same as multiplying by four. So that answer is um, 2,880.